Hello, welcome to the webinar about the functionality of the new uh, Velon Local version 2004. My name is Sergey Lapin. I am Velon Local expert in Gurtum. In our company, I work for about six years, mainly focusing on our server products. In critical, complicated, or some rare cases with Velon Local, I am the one who is called. If nobody knows the answer, I should know it. The recording of this webinar will be posted on our YouTube channel. Uh, more online events, webinars, meetups, uh, online conferences uh, you can find in our channel or on our site. Links will be in the description to this stream down below. Do not forget to subscribe. But if you are watching the webinar in live, you can write your questions in the chat and we will answer them in the final part of our webinar. For over a month, uh, users of Velon Local uh, have been testing the new 2004 version. There are plenty of changes in admin panel, in monitoring system we got new dashboard tab, uh, reports, geofences, maps and calculator were updated. The detailed list of changes can be found in our blog and on Velon Local page on gutem.com. Links also will be in description. As for today, I will tell you about new features in backup module system and on admin side. Uh, I will show you the coolest things <laughs> that we have implemented and how they look in reality. After this webinar, you will understand how to the new backup system works and find out about different useful features. Let's go! First, we updated backup server. Now it has own admin side. Let's start uh, uh, about the installation procedure. Uh, for this, we can use standard ISO image for well on local 2004. It is worth mentioning that for previous well on local versions, the new backup module will not work. Uh, here you can see the main uh, page for basic admin side for after installation of our ISO image. Now there is a possibility to pick a server type here. So to install backup, you just pick backup here, enter your login and password, and uh, the installation will be uh, finished. And you will get on the site like this. Um, as far as uh, uh, this new system works uh, with license server, it has requirements new. Uh, connection with license server is uh, mandatory to uh, check your credentials. Only one backup server uh, can work on one server per time. So you may have one main server uh, and several servers with backup, but uh, no more than one backup module with this admin site on one server. And uh, the system must also have uh, Debian 10 and not just 10. Um, let's proceed. Uh, let's look inside. Uh, now you can see there is a ac active server section here uh, when all information about your primary and backup servers is displayed. Uh, their IPs, internal and external. Uh, this information is gathered from Valon locals and stored on license server uh, and it is displayed on uh, any admin site, like on main one or backup one. Uh, here in this section of backup server, uh, you can enter the DNS for your backup server or its AP, port and access key. This field is similar to the one that is on uh, main admin uh, site. Uh, note that uh, here and here uh, the DNSs should match. Uh, it's the address of your backup server. Uh, and also we've got new switch button. Uh, this button helps you to switch uh, this admin site mode from main to backup and uh, back. Uh, so if you know, uh, lay, um, not, sh not, not much uh, um, previous before, I'm sorry, in previous versions, uh, 
to switch between uh, backup and main servers, uh, you should uh, transfer um, manually uh, the storage directory, uh, start a new admin site on backup server, uh, enter and install all needed components. Uh, but now uh, this uh, complicated procedure is in past and you can just uh, switch uh, to backup and to main uh, with help of this button. Let's, for example, switch the main one server. Uh, yes, we want to switch it. Uh, next we will add, uh, enter our credentials and with help of this uh, simple procedure we switch the main one to backup and we can start it. As you can see here is the red status and the type of the server. The information in uh, this section of active servers is updated once per minute so it may be needed some time to update it here. And let's switch this uh, backup server to the main one. Uh, yes we want to set in primary mode. As you can see uh, we got an error. The primary server is already active. Um, as I told you previously, there can be only one primary server. Uh, and now the information isn't uh, updated uh, on lights and server yet, so we need to wait for a little bit. Yes, now I can see it is updated and we can switch. Uh, it also will ask you if you want to move files from the backup database. As you know, the main information with units and messages and so on is located in storage folder. Uh, to uh, switch the backup server to main one, we need to uh, copy or move this folder to the main VLAN local uh, directory. Uh, this option will work uh, automatically if you have uh, your backup module and uh, main server modules on the same disk, uh, and uh, it will uh, and they don't have any links and so on. Uh, let's proceed with it and enter again our login password. So. Uh, it switched. Let's start the main server. Uh, in cases uh, when uh, your uh, folders for backup and main are located on different drives or uh, the storage folder uh, is a link to another storage folder, the system will uh, reject to do it automatically and uh, recommend you to do it manually to transfer this uh, storage folder by yourself. Uh, but in our case, in standard installation, all works just fine. Uh, let's take a look on uh, another tabs of uh, this admin site for backup. Uh, we have status uh, tab, uh, where you can find uh, many similar parameters to the main one, uh, like uh, the size of uh, databases or some caches, the information about uh, server usage, server components like RAM or HDD or CPU, uh, and also some charts uh, that are needed for monitoring of uh, workability of a backup server. Uh, and in uh, logs tab we have um, also some new tabs like backup errors, service and trace uh, to check logs just from the admin site and you will be able to see all needed information here. Uh, as for installation on old backups, if you have previous version and you have uh, old version of uh, backup module without admin site, uh, it is needed to uh, install the new base um, admin panel. Uh, if you have pre-installed uh, VLAN local uh, from our ISO image already, uh, it will not work. With the, this admin site you will need to reinstall itself. Uh, you can uh, send uh, a request to support at gurtum.com and our specialist will help you to reinstall the basic admin site uh, to be able to use uh, this backup admin site. 
Uh, I would like to remind you that you can ask questions regarding the webinar in our chat. In the end, we will answer them. Um, and um, here will be some features that uh, we add in admin side. Um, we added uh, feedback form, we added update schedule, email messages management, mass export import to VLB database compression settings, password change, video app, uh, SVG logos, um, let's encrypt optimization, device type support change, white label SDK, chart improvements and background processes. Let's take a closer look for each of them. Uh, for this, we will need our main admin site. Uh, first, uh, the feedback. Now, there is a feedback button right here where you can write and send us an email just from admin site. If you have consultation or complaint or maybe suggestion and review, it will go directly to our emails, to our support or to our analysts uh, if it is uh, some suggestion or review. Uh, next, uh, we added the possibility to set schedule for updates. Uh, as you know, usually we uh, we have weekly updates on uh, Thursdays, uh, and if you have auto install button uh, after install option activated, they will be installed on Thursdays. But uh, not for all of you, our users, uh, this situation is suitable because the VLAN will be restarted there and some users uh, may experience uh, the session drop and so on. Uh, so uh, now you can set uh, any time interval, uh, day of week or even uh, day uh, when you want to uh, set your updates to be installed. For example, many people want the to do them on Saturdays on Sunday, uh, where uh, there are not much users. Uh, next, we also uh, have uh, message management. Uh, uh, here you can uh, you and your system administrator uh, can set uh, the mails and the alerts that he want to get, or he didn't want to get. Uh, just pick needed, for example, no, I will leave the crash log, it's an important one. Uh, and save it, and only these emails uh, will be sent from admin panel. Um, we added several um, new mails here. Uh, it's certificates regeneration issue uh, for Let's Encrypt if something goes wrong with the regeneration of Let's Encrypt certificates uh, and certificates expiration issue for all SSL certificates if your uh, certificate is about to be expired or already expired you will also get a mail. Uh, next uh, we added the feature of mass export and import of uh, messages from units. Uh, now you can pick all messages or some uh, time interval for them. Uh, you can pick all units, units for account, for users or custom list uh, and uh, export all messages for this uh, period uh, to uh, VLB file. Uh, it will be uh, created in the import, ex import export folder in home VLON the local TMP directory. Uh, it may be needed if you need a reserve copy of um, your messages, for example, or if you want to store on your server the history, for example, for one year. And, uh, but you want to store in case of needed or archive your information for previous periods so you can export all messages from all units store them uh, somewhere on another server or a drive 
uh, and set uh, the history period to one year. Uh, the rest of messages will be deleted. Uh, and uh, in uh, case you need the history data over than one year, you can import uh, messages here. Just uh, put the files back to the folder, uh, import export folder uh, in, in TMP directory. And also there is an option to uh, delete or restore exported files. And uh, uh, this process uh, is background process because uh, it can uh, take a lot of uh, time and resources of your server. Uh, the usage of resources is limited. Uh, and uh, here you will be able to see uh, the status of operation as a background process. Um, I will show you another place where you can see it also just a bit later. Uh, we have uh, from 2004 version, we added the possibility to compress database files. What it means, uh, the messages older than uh, 10 days by default will be compressed in uh, directory storage in my MA. Uh, and uh, it will uh, take uh, less disk space to store these messages, but uh, the time to uh, make a report or make a track for unit, uh, the time to read these messages uh, will be a little uh, bit longer. Not much. And uh, now we added uh, the possibility to set this period by default, as I said, is. 10 days, you can set, for example, 30 days or 90, whatever you want. And all messages uh, that are older than this number of days will be compressed. Um, and also, since the beginning of 2021, major browsers uh, stopped supporting flash technology because of security reasons, if uh, some of you may know this. As far as our video player was based on this technology, we made a special video service to transfer uh, RTMP flow to HLS and an app that allows to view video from uh, units in modern format without this flash technology. If you want to, uh, to set on your server this video app, please write us on local at gurtum.com and our specialists will help you with that. Uh, let's go to Valon tab. Uh, and open uh, the site properties. For uh, monitoring system, we got uh, new uh, default skins. So uh, there are three of them now, and the uh, user can pick one of them, uh, whatever they like. Uh, on advanced step, uh, we added a possibility to add uh, logos in SVG format for better performance in high resolution. Uh, as uh, some of you may know, we have the possibility to generate SSL certificates with Let's Encrypt technology. It's free SSL uh, certificates that renew uh, every three months, should be renewed. And we added uh, some optimization to this mechanism uh, to renew them faster and beforehand. Uh, the, there is an option also, white label SDK, that we added. Uh, it uh, removes the word VLON from any SDK requests, so it, you can make the completely white label uh, VLON local system. Uh, but uh, be care if you have already work, uh, working uh, applications with uh, our SDK, uh, because uh, the address uh, to request uh, to send this request will be changed, there will be no value word. Uh, next, let's go to device types, and uh, here we added the function to uh, change default port for device types. If uh, earlier you uh, should uh, use some AP table settings and or firewall settings, uh, if your devices uh, for some reason uses uh, some uh, not default uh, custom port uh, and uh, there is no possibility on these devices to change this port. Now you can change it here, just enter new port, push save and 
here we go. I think, yeah. And you also may use the default button to restart. Next, let's go to the status tab. We improved charts uh, for better user experience. We added uh, the periods for two days and two years uh, for scaling these uh, charts. We also added uh, uh, charts for compressed messages, for network speed and network traffic. Uh, and as you can see, we stretched a little bit uh, our admin site for bigger resolutions. On lower resolutions, it will remain the same. Uh, now there is a background services process display. Uh, it shows active background processes like exporting messages, as I told you before, or database defragmentation, work with cache, and, uh, database synchronization, and so on and so forth. Uh, you will see all these processes here. And we monitor uh, now space in uh, important directories, like in uh, root unix directory, it's like a slash, uh, in var directory where, for example, logs are located for the system, and in home directory. And also you will get alerts uh, on your admin email if there is a problem with the space on these directories. Uh, so with the main part it is over, we'll proceed with the Q&A session. Uh, I remind you that you can ask questions in our chat. Uh, let's see what questions we got. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, okay, uh, what new features will be in 2204? <laughs> Uh, it's an interesting question because we just uh, released the 2104 version. Uh, we are not able to say precisely what new features will be in 2204. Uh, but we usually um, add the functionality from VLON hosting that was developed during the year to the new VLON local version. Um, what else questions we got? Can be 20k units limit be increased? Um, uh, the 20k units uh, value is uh, picked uh, for a good server after our tests uh, for like average message intensity, like in real life. Uh, some exceptions like uh, enlarging this limit is possible, uh, but you take uh, technical and legal risks of uh, this for to yourselves, uh, like to add 30k uh, to your well on local. Uh, yeah, it is possible, but it's not recommended because uh, modern servers just don't handle uh, usually such uh, load. What else questions have we got? Uh, the compression messages on database on backup server. Uh, the compression for now uh, is not implemented yet. It's only for main server. Uh, and uh, we work on uh, the situation uh, to be able to compress all the messages on backup server, but for now this functionality is uh, not implemented. Mm. Uh, John asks, is it ok to run the 2104 on virtual server? Uh, as I always say, we really don't recommend to use virtual servers, but it is possible. Why we don't recommend it, uh, and I personally don't recommend, because uh, the problem with virtualization layer uh, can be quite difficult, and we are not able to uh, know about all uh, virtualization systems. So in this case, if you will have some problem with uh, virtual servers on the 
virtualization side we will not be able to help you but many of our users successfully uh, use uh, virtual machines to run their servers and um, have um, not much problems with that so yeah it is possible it's not quite recommended but yeah it's possible what else what else Uh, if it is possible to uh, I'm sorry uh, to write oh offline's local if it is possible to use offline's local no it's not possible the periodic connection to lights and server is required for legal user checking uh, rent local should connect to lights and server every day to renew licenses one-time payment locals can do it once per month, but uh, it is not possible to run it in a fine. Um, okay, I see not a lot of questions uh, in our chat. So uh, if you want to upgrade your VLON local to 2004 version, if you're interested in it, please send email to sales at gurtom.com. And uh, also I have an announcement. We continue to receive requests for competitions I IOT project of the year 2021. IOT project of the year is an international competition for telematics projects in IOT. Any company from any country can send a request to participate. We await projects <coughs> in any telematics and business sphere, logistics, passenger transport, construction, agri agriculture, etc. We've uh, got like uh, 15 nominations there. For more information, you can visit our iot uh, awardgurtoncom Link will be also in the description. And the deadline for your request is July the 5th. So as we have no more questions, the rest of them you can send us on the mail support at gurton.com or you can use our new feature from admin side to send us a request. Uh, thank you for your attention and goodbye. Mm -hmm.